What's going on, people? This is Influence back with another Transformers showcase review. This is uh, ZB01 Zeta Toys uh, take on Masterpiece uh, Aerial Bot name. I think this Firefly or Fly Fire. That's their name. Uh, Fly Fire. Um, I want to say his name. His Gmail name is uh, Fire Flight firefly uh like i said it's crazy because i always get these guys always mispronounce their names or don't know their name um and they were one of my favorites as a kid and they still are one of my favorites this is why i'm in for this line because i feel like the combine mode and i'm really in for the combine mode actually i do like the bots though i like this bot a lot but the other guy, um, I feel, was better than this guy. Now, they use a lot of the same mold pieces. Uh, I'll, I'll compare them later after I get done um, talking about it. Um, they use a lot of, a lot of you know, remolding, uh, I guess retooling of the same figure, which is what what it was like they basically looked somewhat the same they had different but i think the differences are enough between these two molds this and the other mold uh zbo2 which is zeta toys uh air raid um yeah i like his face sculpt i like his face sculpt okay now this guy like i was saying the other guy um was i think impressed me more than this one now the jets are great the jets impress me a lot this guy has a lot of issues uh i believe just qc issues um now this this does have a better landing gear system which i'm okay with uh even though it still gets a little stuck up here we'll get to that though but yeah and also his gun his gun split apart on me let me take this gun out. So look at his gun. It's just a single mold. It's just like the other guy's gun. Um, but actually, I don't. I don't want to do it. I mean, yeah, there you go. Oh shit! <laughs> Great. Yeah, see, it just it, it split apart on me. Um, it's not glued together or anything. It's it's just snapped together uh, like this. So it's okay though. I mean. It is what it is. It has some nice blue paint on there, uh, which isn't bad. Let me see if I can dial up the lights a little bit. Got a little new setup here, so bear with me. You have the same missiles, of course, uh, on the wings. And they don't pop off, like I said, with the other guy. They don't pop off as much or as easily as I've seen in videos. I think maybe it was the test shot. Maybe they put them a little, a uh, little more tighter. I don't know, or maybe I'm just light-handed when I transform them. Not sure. Um, but, but yeah, there there are some issues with this guy. Like I said, QC issues that I didn't find on the other guy. Besides the other guy's uh, landing gear. You know that landing gear was made by by the devil himself. But uh, there's some issues in here there's some issues with the with with these things right here they tend to uh come out and i can imagine when he's in arm mode because he's an arm and yes they're not these, these figures are not scramble city i've seen that question as well uh they can only be what they are which this is an arm and the other guy's a leg and the reason for that is i'm gonna show you this is part of the transformation but he has a joint in there that when you put him in arm mode it comes out and then you can uh you know all this stuff has to be in but after you get everything together then that joint there acts as i'm not gonna go through the transformation fully but i'm gonna show you some of the issues but yeah this joint right here which is very tight it's a it's a tight joint, but okay, I'm not gonna fool with it right now. But it's the elbow joint, and that that's pretty that's pretty dope. I think that's gonna be dope. Um, 
this is an issue right here. This is one of the issues. So let me just get to that. Or let me do, let me go, let me do some articulation. It's just like the other guy. See, here goes, here goes the, those issues. This, this chest piece right here. You have to line everything up. Like you see these tabs right here, these two tabs. You have to line up on that side and these two tabs you have to line up on this side but it has to be done at the same time so that's a little bit of an issue because it's it can get kind of difficult because you gotta like tab it in and once you tab it in you know it's down so this tab won't go in so it has to be over but i seem to get it this one doesn't go all the time but it, it's all right uh so yeah his head to his head pops up a lot because it's not really like tabbed in strong right there it's just a little like flat because you bring the cabana joint um out there's the cabana peg it's sort of like uh cabana wars um but, but yeah so you got you got these arms they can get up fairly well like this let me get back a little bit uh, you got elbows, elbows go a little bit more than 90 degree, you got swivel, you got a waist swivel, even though you got a bunch of, bunch of junk on his back, like, like the other ones, or the other one, or all of them will have it, because that's, that's what they had, you got the, can't get the splits going, oh shit, can get the splits and you can get out here goes those missiles that i said don't don't fall off that easy go out to here and you can get back but this stuff is in the way and you got a knee knee joint which the stuff is in the way as well uh, and that knee has that's the first time i really used the knee the knee has a good ratchet in it but the but these guys don't have that great of ratchet so, I mean, that could be an issue. Uh, and your feet, you got extreme toe tilt. That's due to transformation. And then you have a little, little rocker. You can't get nothing up. His head, of course, can turn all the way around. It's on a peg, I believe, ball peg. So that's, that's pretty much it, these wings. You can remove the wings, just like on the other guy for a cleaner look, which he is pretty clean once you remove those wings besides his backpack he uh yeah he's he's a pretty clean pretty clean individual yeah i actually like the wings on parts forming doesn't doesn't bother me a lot but i do just like as least as possible to take off i like when stuff can be on it and actually these wings i think i said it last time uh these wings sort of act like a second heel spur because he doesn't really have a heel spur but you see this acts as a heel heel spur which is the back of the jet when he transforms or the harrier i think he's, he's a harrier jet i don't know um but all right that's Put these wings back on so like i said i'm not gonna go through the whole transformation but i will go through as i find issues i'm gonna uh address them all right i wanted to cut this in because uh i didn't show the comp comparisons um so you see the bots like i said they have enough differences they look good together um, I like the way they look and in all honesty, I opened this one first, but he's one of my favorites, uh, out the team. Um, always liked him in silver bolt, I guess, cause black is one of my favorite colors. Like I, I just like the slickness. Oh, that's the issue with him. I didn't go over, uh, his gun doesn't stay in his hand as well. It does. If I like really, I mean, I got to peg it in like hard and then like i feel like i'm gonna break that peg and then i gotta squeeze the hand but it does get loose so that's air raid his gun his gun stays well i don't think i showed that either um 
But yeah, just wanted to show the comparisons of the two. Yeah, we've got the backpacks. Like missiles look to be the same for the most part. No, actually the missiles are even different. Uh, got different style missiles. I thought they were the same. That's cool. Uh, I just realized that. Oh, he doesn't stand up as well as him. It could be me. I suck at poses. Uh, I try to pose him as much as possible. It could be because he his heel spurs are weird. Like his ankles are. I mean, they're they're enough. But but yeah. All right, back way. These do go all the way back. Um, I know I thought I was gonna break it the first time because it does get caught up. And there's a couple things. And you know what? I just realized it's rubbing right here. Uh, can you see that? Okay. Right here on the arm, when you do that, it is rubbing. So that could be an issue, but you can get it all the way back without without uh, breaking it. And I believe it's supposed to be because then you can get the fist in easier. It, it would help if I had the fingers. So then you can get the fist in easier because without putting it all the way back, the fist hits this and it's just a mess. So, and the other, the other thing that I wanted to show is these flaps right here. Now you're supposed to push them in. Let me show you what I mean. Open these flaps. When you open this, these are supposed to go all the way in. It helps if you have, I'm trying to see if you can see that. There's a hinge in here that goes all the way down whenever, let me try to focus. It goes all the way in like down like that whenever you have these arms out if you can keep that hinge like that because sometimes when you push this arm all the way out you see how that hinge pops out just keep the hinge down and you can push this all the way you still have to try to get it past where it is which you know you gotta get out of the long way but it's easier to push down and in and you gotta push it all the all the way in you see how that i thought i was gonna break it when i first first did it but if you have this hinge all the way out i'll show you on this one and you go down and you try to push it see how that hits right there it hits that hinge so it can get frustrating like i was frustrated because a lot of pieces are close and won't move but you just gotta get that hinge out the way and flip it up so yeah that's that's one thing that frustrate the hell out of me so back again this same part right here uh now this part you gotta hinge it's that same hinge i don't know if that hinge gets in the way but you kind of like gotta angle it and like push it forward and back at the same time and then push it up in there because this hinge gotta go flush that way instead of this way so uh and then this sits up against here now you as you see it's not you know they have some clearance issues and that's that's my main concern okay i know what it is but anyway yeah when you're trying to push this all the way in you have to just see there's a little space when you have it like this uh it's not much but as you push in you kind of gotta force it past there which that's rubbing on plastic too but once you know once that gets in place then you it's almost uh, intuitive. You just flip it down, flip the head back. Okay, here's another uh, little section that's kind of off. Um, that tab's in it there. That tab, I believe this is like the third time I'm transforming it. And that tab has a little stress mark on it. And it's tight. Now you gotta open this up. I usually just try to do it all at once like that. See this tab? It's not well. It's not too stressed. It just has uh, it has some flash on it. I think more so than anything. But that's a small tab. That that could break. Just be mindful of that. Um, just something to think about. Okay, here is another section. This section in here. Let's see if you can see that hard to see um when you're closing it 
it'll feel like you, you're done, like you're done. But if you don't have it closed right, this right here will hit these legs really close or you can try to force it or you got to put these little uh, tabs right there. Got to go in between in these little slots in the indentations of the legs. So sometimes it's kind of hard to, to get it. So back in, uh, this is it. This is, I think, a nice jet. I think their alt modes are great so far. Um, has some good paint right here. Supplied well, um, for the most part. I mean, there's a little, you know, a little bleeding. But if you're, you know, if you're that particular, like right here, there's some bleeding of the silver paint. I don't know if you can see that um, up into the red near the cockpit. But the tempos, but it's not that bad. I like the tempos. Got to step up and caution hot and, you know, no step and, and different things. Um, this landing gear is a lot better than uh, Air Ray's landing gear. And also... I don't know if they sometimes I have issues getting it out and it's and it scrapes. I don't know if they did this on purpose, but you can pull this off, um, which it doesn't bother me that it comes off because it doesn't fall off. Like it would it would bother me if it falls off and if it gets loose. Um, that's something that you might want to watch for. I don't know, but I guess if it gets loose, you can just put some furniture polish on there. But it makes the the landing gear come out a lot better, and that's where the landing gear is. Um, it comes out way way easier and <laughs> there's an easier design and then there's landing gear uh that pop out of the wings i like that also they fold down and pop out there next to the missiles and just like on air raid you can put uh i'll put his gun here just i like the kind of a symmetrical um look the one gun sticking out and it's a plane so that's another thing i always like like the vehicles look kind of dumb having a gun on them like it defeats the purpose of being a transformer of having a vehicle transform and try to blend in like with a plane they have guns on them like they're fighter planes and, and military planes so they they have guns on them so it's it's cool that you can store his gun and it doesn't look off like the cars do when you have a big gun on the hood or a big gun on the roof of the car. Like this just, just blends in and fits well. Cockpit opens as one seat. I, I assume that's how the real jet is. Uh, sorry, I'm all out the camera whack. I'm, I'm getting used to this. This is my new setup. I have a new, you know, new little camera setup here. So, so yeah, this is, uh, ZBO one Firefly or Fly Fire. I don't know. I'm looking forward. Can't wait till uh I'm thinking the next one is is Silverbolt, which I don't know what they're calling him. But yeah, anything else that I need to show, you know, it's just a robot underneath. But they good they do a good job, I think, masking it. This is what they were. They just it just is what it is. His head's there, so so yeah, I'll get back with y'all on uh, next video. Can you see? There we go. In pop, I feel I gotta say who am I? You might say influence, and I spit better than most in this game.